my agent introduced me to him as uh, um, a protege, as a young actress that w they wanted to groom and mentor me to uh, send me to New York and groom me for show business. It was quite an experience to be 17 years old and have my agent select me to be in the presence of Bill Cosby. I mean, that was the most remarkable, unbelievable experiences a young actress could have. He was, at that time, he was America's father. He spoke to me incessantly about my trust issues and my vulnerability and that if I was going to be a successful actress, I had to be able to tap into that. I had to trust him and that he was going to be that vehicle for me, that I had to learn to trust him. Being sexually violated comes in on lots of different levels, and I can say that all levels happened with me. And the final straw, what finally um, made all of my sexual abuse uh, come to a screeching halt was a situation in Atlantic City, and I went down for a celebrity event that, that Bill Cosby had arranged. Um, long story short, my luggage was gone, and uh, looking for my luggage meant that I had made myself aware, or had made concierge, the concierge aware that there was a 19-year-old girl looking for her luggage who was attached to Bill Cosby, and he absolutely hit the ceiling, freaked out, flipped out, that it was no longer a secret that there was a young woman in his, his, in his, in his, uh, the wing of his suite, um, and the drugs had worn off, and he could not violate me, and attempted to rape me, and my screaming and yelling and uh, scratching and, and wrestling away from him became too great, and he threw me out, threw me aside, called me baby, and uh, pulled the plug on everything that he and my agent had arranged uh, for me in New York City, and promptly flew me back to Denver. I was told very, very bluntly to my face that I had better never be seen or heard from again. I felt like I was being held captive. I felt like I was hiding in plain sight. I felt like I had absolutely no control, that the people that I was supposed to trust the most were throwing me back into the lion's den. It took one other woman to be strong enough to come out who had a team of people that supported her that I said, I can come out now. I can talk now because I have nothing to lose anymore and no one can take anything away from me anymore and I'm not going to live in fear and I'm not going to live in darkness anymore and I'm going to do it through helping her. I believe her because it happened to me. I know it happened to her because her story was the same as my story. And at that point in time, I said, I will not live in silence anymore. I will not drag this with me for the rest of my life. I will not die with this. Because if I do nothing but reach out to one other woman in this world and say, I believe you. If they don't believe you, I believe you because I know it happened. And I will voice myself and I will let everyone else know that you are telling the truth.